So here I am, folks. I'm on the floor for a very good reason because Katie, who's a senior trainer from St. John Ambulance, is going to demonstrate how one of these wonderful defibrillators actually work. And it just might save somebody you like or love life if they have a heart attack and need it. So Katie, I'm going to pretend I'm unconscious. Beautiful. Which is not hard. So I'm on the ground. I'm unconscious. What are you going to do to me? So just to clarify, he's unconscious, he's not breathing, so we've run through our action plan, we've called for help, I've got a defib now with me, and we're actually doing CPR technically. So he's unconscious, not breathing, someone's doing CPR, okay, and while that's happening, I'm now going to put the defibrillator onto the person. So it simply says pull, we're going to pull the handle and follow the prompts. Because we're just a, a training setup today, I'm going to put a little bit of alfoil across uh, John's body there so that it'll actually pick up its own something and run through the drill. But in real life, you do not need that alfoil. So very important that we all understand that. So CPR is happening, and now I'm going to apply the defib. Begin by removing all clothing from the patient's chest. Cut clothing if needed. Okay. Oh, that's a very expensive shirt. So we're going to uh, take off this button, get this shirt off. When patient's chest is bare, remove protective cover and take a look carefully at the pictures on the white adhesive pads. Peel one pad from the yellow plastic liner. Place pad exactly as shown in the picture. Press firmly to patient's bare No one should touch the patient. Analyzing. So now we're standing clear. No one should touch the patient. Analyzing. Shock advised. Stay clear of patient. Making sure everyone's clear. Button now. Deliver shock now. Shock delivered. Be sure the ambulance service has been called. We did that. It is safe to touch the patient. Start CPR. For help with CPR, press the flashing blue button. Place the heel of one hand in the center of the chest between the nipples. Place your other hand on top of the first. Push the chest down firmly five centimeters. Keep time with the beat. And we'd follow those instructions to do good CPR on our person who's needing it right now. So I'll turn that one off. I feel so much better. <laughs> you brought me back to life. Thank it's you. It's a miracle, folks. Katie, this is extraordinary. And it seems so incredibly simple when you do follow that uh, the instructions. That's right, yeah, all defibrillators are designed, so that they all talk to you, they all work the same way, pads on the body in the same manner, so one up here, one down there, uh, and yeah, follow the instructions, anyone can use a defibrillator. Can, can you understand the reticence or the, uh, the nervousness that people might have to use something that they feel, oh, I couldn't possibly do that? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's always, uh, you know, shocking to have something like this and to think, well, what do I do? What if something happens? What if, what if, what if, what if? Am I going to hurt someone? Yeah, and even myself. So it's just a matter of following the instructions. These are designed for anyone in the general public. You don't have to be a first aider or a paramedic. So keeping that in mind should give you that security. Okay, so these, these obviously should be everywhere and are a lot of places. Uh, if people want to know more, where should they go? Yeah, so you can jump on our website, stjohnvic.com.au. And we have a lot of our first aid classes, of course, CPR courses, all sorts of things going on there. And you can, yeah, sign up and do a course. That will make a lot more sense of understanding your action plan, DRS, A, B, C, D, to get to this, this stage of the game. Uh, compared to the, the, the shocking, uh, how would you rate actually seeing me with my top off <laughs> as being the most shocking thing you've seen? It is pretty shocking, but, you know, we've seen a lot of things, so it's not too bad. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Katie, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Hopefully, you know, we might have just saved a few lives, and certainly for me, you've demystified the defibrillator. Excellent.